Here are some facts about the Carl Sagan Cosmos documentary that you might not know. 1. The iconic opening sequence of the show was inspired by a real rocket launch. When Carl Sagan first pitched the idea for the series to the powers that be at the BBC, wanted to open the first episode with a sequence that would mimic a rocket launch. The camera would literally have to launch out of the Earth to give the viewer the sensation that they were being blasted off into space. To make this possible, Sagan and his team went to the UK's Space Centre in Cornwall to observe a real rocket launch up close. The result was so spectacular that it inspired the unforgettable opening sequence of the series. 2. Sagan wanted to include a segment in the series that explored the possibility that life on Earth could have originated from bacteria that arrived here via a meteor. He even went so far as to write a full script for the segment. But it was ultimately cut from the final version of the series due to time constraints. However, the idea didn't go to waste. It was later adapted into an episode of The Twilight Zone hosted by Sagan himself. 3. The series was almost not made at all because the BBC thought it would be too expensive to produce. In fact, they only agreed to fund the series after Sagan agreed to co-host it with somebody else. That somebody else was to be Sir Patrick Moore, a well-known British astronomer. Sadly, Moore passed away in 2012, and in the years since. Carl Sagan as widow has expressed her desire to find somebody to narrate a new version of the series. So if you're out there, and you think you can do a good British accent, then you might be in luck. For Carl Sagan was heavily involved in the production of the series. He not only wrote the script for each episode, but he also did his own voiceover work, and even composed the series' theme music. The only thing he didn't do was film the opening sequence. That honor went to a guy named Brian May. You may know him as the lead guitarist for the band Queen. 5. Carl Nick Sagan was not the first choice to host the series. The producers of Cosmos had originally approached another famous astronomer, Stephen Hawking, to host the series. But Hawking turned it down because he was busy working on a documentary of his own. That documentary called The Universe in a Nutshell aired on the Discovery Channel in 2001, now you know. Hit the like button for more videos of Carl Sagan facts every day.